So here we have the new KTM 790 Duke. Now look at this, it's an absolute beauty. There's every now and again a motorcycle that comes along and changes the game and I have to say this is one of them. KTM have done a fantastic job of creating an engine that is super small, powerful, full of character and absolutely wonderful. It complements the chassis, the bike is agile, nimble, it's absolutely fantastic. So what KTM done is they created a new engine, a parallel twin, but the firing order is at 75 degrees and it ends up being exactly like their LC8 1290 V twin. So we've got a parallel twin with the character of a V twin. They've even added a slight little bit of vibration and that's all to bring the character out in the bike and it really works. So what you've got is an engine that's very, very small with a lot of power, 105 horsepower, with a lot of torque as well. So you don't have to go through all of the gears. You can go around a corner in second, third, be lazy with the throttle because there's so much torque you can get away with it. So you're not always shifting up and down, up and down, up and down for all of the turns, which is fantastic. Very similar to any V-twin. V-twins have a lot of torque, you can get away with low RPM and this bike has that characteristic but it's a parallel twin. Parallel twin because the V-twin, the cylinder, the second cylinder would come up. A parallel twin is much, much more compact. Now during this press conference all we've heard from KTM is agility, agility, agility. It's so agile. So I was really intrigued to see what this bike would be like. Hand on heart. This machine is the most agile motorcycle I've ever ridden on the street and I've ridden a lot of motorcycles. It feels almost like a race bike, it goes through the corners really, really quickly. It's not oversensitive so you make mistakes, it's just agile. It's light, the weight is low, it's easy to flick around, it's slim and I'm not joking you, it goes around corners like it's on rails. got fully adjustable front suspension by WP and also at the rear. Fantastic combination. WP makes some great suspension and it really complements this bike. The team of designers here at KTM have all been working together. The engine technicians have been talking to the chassis technicians with the suspension so it all goes together and it really, really works. The back of the engine is also a stress member because that's where the, the swinging arm fits onto the bike. The swinging arm is really long, but really works very well. So I have to say, I'm really impressed with the engine. It's compact, it's lightweight, it fits into so many categories. Now, 800cc, where is that? Where does that fit? Well, the power of it is kind of like a Super Sport 600 bags of power. You don't need much more power than that. However, you, what you don't have to do is rev it hard or go through all of the gears to keep it all going, which you normally do on a regular 600. So with an 800 parallel twin that fires like a V-twin, you've got agility, you've got lightness, but you've got the character of a bike with a lot of power. We've taken it to the racetrack, it handled great on the racetrack. We did a very, very slow Gymkhana course. The bike's agile enough to go around that, no problems. Then we spent loads of hours today on the street, not just on the smooth tarmac, but also on the bumpy. It works fantastic. So chassis, engine, you're not gonna believe it. It all works together incredibly well. It's overall a fantastic bike. It's a game changer because you know that this engine is going to arrive in other motorcycles in the future. We've all seen the 790 Adventure promo video. If you haven't watched it, you'd be super impressed. So this engine is gonna go places. It's been highly anticipated. We've all been waiting for it. If you've not, get down your dealer, check this out. It's freaking incredible. It's a great motorcycle. I have to say, KTM are going places. It's one of the most exciting manufacturers at the moment. Moving forward in MotoGP, they're right at the front of motocross and enduro. They're making incredible street bikes, fantastic. It's a game changer, it's wonderful, and it gets the massive Moto Geo thumbs up, wonderful.